welcome welcome you too my name is nicole this is my mom uh, welcome back to bedroom climax today's topic is men who have small penises or like they say in jamaica men who have small body the body is small so this is my mom right here hey hey we're talking about men who have small penises and they can satisfy their partner significant other that's a big problem men a lot of men out here walking around i'm not burning out any she's not one out them we're jamaican i'm, I'm jamaican she's, she's american yeah my mom is jamaican we're not burning out any of these guys who have small penises but there's a lot of guys that are walking around small penises and what I consider small is anything under five inches whoa under five under five inches okay. I consider that small okay. because when it's erect there's really nothing there let's be Let's be real. On for better choice of words. So that's a big problem. A lot of these women, they're not gonna tell the men that they have small a small body walking around with. They just gonna either have sex just with them once. When you when you say body, you have to um, go back. You can say that, but also you can say penis because most of the Black Americans. They don't okay. Know. When they have small penises, a lot of these women are not going to tell you that you have a small penis. they just going to... Why do I look like I'm glowing? They, I don't know. They're going to just have sex with you one time, and then you're not going to hear from them again. It just... When you have a small... When, when it's... Wait, wait, wait. Roll up one back again? What? When you say, when the woman has sex with you, um... Repeat that one back again. I want to correct you right there. When you have a small penis, the woman is not going to tell the man. She That's just a, just be a one hit, one hit and she's not coming Wham, back. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. She's not coming She's not feeling nothing. There's no penetration. There's no orgasm. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. That is true. It's just nothing. That is true. That is then true. again, if you have a guy and he's too big, then he kill you. If you have an anaconda, then you would be dead. Like elephant man would say, anaconda. Exactly. Then they kill you. Exactly. Because you do have some guys walking around out here with a 10 and 11 inch. What's with your pelvic bone, crack your, your, your back, that to me, to me, that's nice and everything, but that's not healthy. Because you can hurt somebody. Let's say the person is a virgin virgin. You can hurt them. Yeah. What do you think? Yes, that is true. You can, if he's a virgin and the man have such a large um, penis, um, the, the um, female can get hurt by either tear, or bleed, stuff like that. Yeah. Mm hmm So. But the thing is, is why, I don't know, with the small, with the small men. And some of the men, they know when their penis is small meaning that they will ask you if you have sex toys or if you're into that and they will advise you you know let's get some or sometimes some of them will go out and get it the day themselves okay youtube i have a story i know a guy my mom knows him we're not gonna name his name he has a small penis and i mistakenly hook him up with a friend of mine and I didn't know he had a small penis my friend called me back after she engaged in sex with him and she said I don't want to deal with him anymore Nicole I don't want to deal with him anymore oh I know what you're talking why don't why you don't want to deal with him oh his he has a small penis I said how small is it she said between three and four inches small Jesus. 
So I said, did you tell him that? She said, no, I didn't tell him that. I said, why didn't you tell him? He would, she, he would be embarrassed. She said she would be embarrassed if she tell him that. No, she would be embarrassed and he would be, be embarrassed. embarrassed. So she awesome. didn't tell him that. She just had sex with him once and she never called him back again. And still to this And he's a nice guy. That's the sad part about it. He's a good guy. Very nice guy because my mom knows him. Very nice guy. Hard just hard don't working. have penis to satisfy any woman. Every woman that he's been with after the person I hooked him up with, they disappear. Disappear. They don't stay around, stick around. That is true. It's sad. Mm -hmm. And what I noticed too is a lot of these. Um, mm -hmm. You sure you want to say that word? What? S. S. -E -N -I -S -E. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the truth. They always say black men have bigger penises. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's. 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 Yeah. I've been hearing that over the years. Mm -hmm. And then next, the second to counterpart to that is what white men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then everybody else comes tumbling down after that. Mm -hmm. So it's first it's black, then it's white, mm -hmm. and then after that. You, everybody else drop off of the scale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. That is true. Because yeah. I was told from a friend of mine years ago, a Spanish girlfriend of mine who happened to be Dominican, she said most of, she date black guys. I said, why you date black guys? She said because she says the Spanish guys don't have much, much, much of a, much um anything going on down there. It is true. And true. I heard Indian guys are the same thing, and I heard Chinese guys are worse. Mm -hmm. Help me out, YouTube. Comment. Let me know if this is true. But that's what I heard. It is true. I heard black men are number one, white men are number two. It is Spanish, true. Chinese, and Indian fall dead last mm -hmm. when it comes to that. Um, Indian and then Chinese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's true because I used to work into the hospital and I used to work and I know when I used to see the little babies um, come out and you see the little boy babies, you can see a difference. Mm -hmm. You can see a big difference mm -hmm. in size. Yeah, that is so true. And you can usually tell by the babies where you said scroll down. Mm -hmm. Based off of if they're gonna have anything really going on there, yeah, you know, if so. the scroll down is so long and soggy, drop, and then you just have a little like an inch on top of your nail, on top of your top index finger up here, exactly. But it's a it's a problem, it's a big problem. A lot of men are don't like to talk about it. Um, and because it's like I said an ego thing I've said it in a video prior to this it's an ego problem so men usually just keep it to their self you yeah. know but what do you think mommy what are your thoughts about this or if you've ever heard anybody tell you about I'm so, this I'm mostly, I'm over the years of course um, um, yes, me and my girlfriend talk about it when I was in my teens, when I was in my 20s and 30s. They would date guys and when I used to party before I got married. And they would come off as this macho, macho man. And they're so macho. And then when you go to dinner and have dinner and date a couple of times and decide, say, okay, that's the guy going to be after your boyfriend. You want to run. You want to run. It's you true. Run. You want to run because nothing is there. Nothing is there to satisfy yes, you. And true. ladies, don't worry. We're coming for you too because there's there's a lot of things that is wrong with a lot of these women. <laughs> where you're not satisfying the, 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 the man. And I was talking to my mom the other day about it. A lot of these women have... It's, it's too... <laughs> it's too... <laughs> what is that funny a lot of these women out here no I'm gonna speak a lot of these women out here is out here screwing all of these different men 
And like they say in Jamaica, you two fucky, 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 fucking different, 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 different men all over the place. And then you end up with this big ass hole and you can't, you can't satisfy the man. When the man is, when the man is ready to have sex with you, there's nothing to grip him. That's the next topic. Whenever we're ready, we're going to come with that. It's not just the men that have a problem. You ladies out there have a problem too. <laughs> it's true. I'm so serious. It is so true. <laughs> it's just that these women don't speak about it. I don't care who don't want to like me. You don't have to like me. I'm speaking my mind. It's the truth. A lot of these women out here. Mommy, you know it's the truth. A lot of these women out here. All around the, all around town. And by the time they're ready to find a decent man to settle down with. They don't got no grip. No what they, you said it the other day. No glamity. No glamoury down there. Nothing down there to, to, to keep a man. It's just like you dipping in a willy and nothing is there. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. I have to get this. This is about to die. But continue. It's okay. the truth. You too. That is There's something true. has to be done about it. That is true. What she's talking about. What are you looking for? Um, the, the um, extension cord. It's back here. The one... Oh, yeah, it's true. Something has to be done. Something has to be done. It's being the couch. Oh. That is so true. Yes, yeah, something has to be done. It's, it's so true what my daughter is saying. Yeah. Talk, talk about the the lady, the other women that you know about with the sitting situation. They can't find nobody. They wonder yeah, why I they can't find friends. nobody. I have friends that I go to high school with and they right now looking husbands and they can't find no husband but the guys they won't tell them the truth about what is going on that means that means during their time from high school from high school to adult you know they've been probably mm. dating one well, my I'm, I'm not here to judge i'm not judging no one but I'm just saying that for somebody from high school, from in the 80s, 83, 84, mm -hmm. and still hasn't found a husband yet, and yeah. no children, something is definitely wrong. Yeah, no children, no nothing. And you sit on, and you sit and you cry every day, you don't have nobody. Why you don't have nobody? Why you don't have nobody? Sometimes the men don't want to tell you. No, Majority of the time, the men don't want to tell it. They just play it off, and after they go through, after they the person leave, or they're separate away, they say they will say she know why. No, she didn't know. She know why we don't want them. Yeah. Where, where did you come yeah. from? I don't know. But this is this is a topic. We're gonna get to you women too. But right now, we're gonna focus on the men. But you, the women out there, it's a problem too. A lot of you older women now, you used to do all type of stuff in your 20s. All type of stuff in your 30s. Now you're in your 40s and your 50s. And you want, <laughs> no, she knows it's true, that's why she's laughing. Now you're in your 40s and your 50s and you want to settle down and you want to have kids. <laughs> And all of these things you want all you want all the trimmings that come with it and you realize now that you can't find nobody or it's something wrong with you sexually <laughs> it's the truth burn me out if you want to come for me if you want to but it's the truth because my mommy knows a lot of people who are in the said same said situation they done massacre themselves out when they're in their 20s and 30s now they're in their 40s and their 50s and they're looking man and they can't find man and they wonder oh why can't i find nobody there ain't no man out here there's no man out here they either dead or they in jail what is the problem why you can't find a man but then again there's so much money in prison too yeah, you have a lot of men in prison. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying don't don't rule out going outside of your race. You can go outside of your race too. I'm sure a lot of people cheated. go outside of your kind race. Of the era that we're in, all things that has been has <coughs> changed. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people go into uh, dating other race and all them stuff. There people that 
just sticking to the black razor so and so mm -hmm. it's true it's so, true yeah but this this whole notion where it's just the men women too have a problem we have a problem too there's some women out there that man i'm telling you and they reach now in their 50 40s 50s 60s and they're lonely you can't find no one can't find nobody no one because the 60 year old man one girls that are in the 20s, 20s and 30s, 30s. yeah they don't okay. want you you know and <clears throat> Those are the type of girls that they're looking for. Yeah. Somebody mm -hmm. to wine and dine on their arms and mm -hmm. and drop them off back again. And drop them off back the again. Another three weeks to pick them up back. Yeah. You know, so. It's sad. It's 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 as she said. It's 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 sad, but we're not here to burn anybody out. No. Right? Not at all. I'm a Jamaican. I'm not here to burn nobody up. We're just here talking and letting you guys know what's really um, going on and and how we see on the outside friends, friends, family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Friends, family, Cousins. people we know, associates. Yes. Everybody have the same. It look like it's like the same common denominator with everyone. And this issue, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's sad. And the next one also will be coming, coming to you, YouTube with, it's man with rectal function, especially in the black community. They don't want to talk about it. That's like a taboo in the black community. And then with that, you will see the white man up there with his with his <laughs> ass up on NBC, ABC, CBS. <laughs> um, a fox all the channel yeah, talking about it. This function. It's a problem. But you can't put the sponge on the block on the TV. Black mm -hmm. man or sponge yeah. man on the TV to talk about that. Yeah. They stay clear away from <laughs> And a lot of men nowadays is a walking lot. in and with, not even say with this function. Young boy, young twenty five year old mm -hmm. guys have rectal function. I know there. young men taking Viagra pills. Twenty three, right twenty four, twenty five. Taking Viagra pills. I know. Can't okay. get it. Can't get it up. Okay, because the things that they do to their bodies mm -hmm. that cause that. You now the grown man them now they run, run, run the street and whore out the street. Mm -hmm. When most of them married and have their wife, they take care of them private part with their wife and 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 um take care of it and protect it. Don't abuse it and. I'm I'm bunny out mm -hmm. and when you reach in 60, 62, 63, 64, it's no good. Mm -hmm. Can't do nothing. You see them around for them Freda. Some of them Freda see all this on fire or if we kill them. Mm -hmm. Heart problem. Heart problem, mm -hmm. heart attack. Okay, mm -hmm. are they peeing turn up and can't go down and kill them mm -hmm. Bit blood vessel boss. Exactly. Kill them. Okay. I've known one guy that um, it stopped his heart, another one, his penis stand up with Viagra, couldn't go down. The doctor had to take him to the OR and bust it. And when they bust it, he died. Okay? Mm -mm. I can go on and go on and go on and go on. And it's, 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 used, it's never used to talk about this um, mm -hmm. rectal function, but now it gets worse. Mm -hmm. A lot of black men is suffering from it and they won't talk. They rather go to the doctor and get a prescription and go and get the Viagra and, and they know it's going to kill their ass. And they know it's not good for them. And they know it's not good for them. Mm -hmm. And so does the Cialis. The Cialis, one of the Cialis, you can cut it up in five different pieces. That's how damn strong that drug is. Mm -hmm. Okay? I know it. And, men are and I can talk it, about and it. And a lot of men are buying them and they're taking them from yeah. young to old. And if you don't a get A lot them, of them have dead, 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 dead. Penis. penis or body as or you they, would call it they, they order um we call it um sexual pills mm -hmm. over um, over uh, mm. the medical health what you call it amazon or something you call it they yeah. order and pay monthly monthly our roots and roots ain't doing shit for them or they can they some a lot of them buy their 
their roots, their Jamaican roots and drinking all these that, type that of things. Not doing nothing. A lot of them is taking these pills because a lot of them can't get an erection naturally. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to natural come natural, and it's not coming natural. And a lot of them is ashamed to talk about it with your friends mm -hmm. because they don't want to know their friend. They don't want to tell them friend that they're walking around with them with a dead prick mm -hmm. or dead penis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As we as I speak okay so it's been hiding in the black and the Spanish community most of these Spanish guys don't penis dead mm -hmm. dead 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 can't I see you. it where um, can't mm -hmm. I see it a lot mm -hmm. a lot 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 mm -hmm. okay it's sad it's so, sad because then your wife sad. your wife end up finding somebody on the road. Or most time it end up in divorce. Or divorce. Most time it end up in separation or divorce. Or cheating. Or cheating. Either way you want to put it. Where yeah. It Either way they want to put it, it it's gonna the relationship is gonna end and negatively. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna end good. Because sex is a big part of a relationship. Big, big part. Yes. First there's money. For me, first there's money, then there's sex. That's how I see it. Uh -huh. In a relationship. Money? Yeah, money is important. If the money is not good in a relationship, the relationship will work. And yeah. then, if, this, if there's no sex, then the, the relationship crumble. Yes. So... That's what these, it is. These black men need to talk about it more so they can get help mm -hmm. way before it gets worse and worse and worse. Then it become in Jamaican term, tea light. Tea light. Mean, that mean? When you know, when you have a headlight and a headlight dead and a headlight blow out, mm -hmm. your headlight in the car, on, in front of the car, mm -hmm. that means that when the headlight go dead, they call it tea light, it dead. Oh. Okay? So we think there, we all they need to talk about it more than run going, run going taking all these pill. Or if they see the first sign of it, start to show sign of it. Mm -hmm. Go and get help. Some of these men don't want to go to the doctor to talk to the doctor. Yeah, black the men don't like the doctor. No. What is the, what is wrong with you, black men? And don't like the doctor. You don't want to get colonoscopy. You don't want nobody stick nothing up your ass to check your colon. You see the one they see the other day there the guy from um black panther died of colon mm -hmm. cancer chadwick bosman died of colon cancer had he been checking his colon, colon. he probably would have detected from Some stage one, one that he had colon cancer but i don't know what is it with black men and not having problems checking yourself that's with been the going on over the year and that goes on over the years especially colon cancer they have this stigma where they don't want forget about jamaican men jamaican men don't want nobody sticking nothing up their ass because they're with this whole they just terrify of some bush but, but and but, yeah they don't want nobody do that but black men on the whole in general don't want it period i don't get it and you're saving you're trying to save your life they're the ones that can detect if you have cancer, if you have heart problem, if you have high blood pressure, cholesterol. Those stuff can't kill you. And those stuff affect the penis as well. Mm, because everything is down there, connection. Everything connects. When the body is working good, down there works good. Mm -hmm. That means you can be able to please your partner. Simple as that's, that. That's why you see most of these um, older men that have rectal function, go and put a stem in their in their penis in their um thing there in the penis to make it stay stiff forever oh can you walk out i mean i don't know if i was a man i wouldn't want to be walking around with a stiff penis <laughs> first <laughs> no but it's true no i'm not i'm not laughing at them and how much that costs here in the u.s that costs a lot or they can blow the penis. You know how much they're going to blow it out. I don't know. Blow out your penis. So what happened? When and they blow it out. Or they can underneath where the sag is at. Where the scrotum is at. They can bust underneath there. And um, and open. Um, what do you call it there? 
open some vein there where the blood flow but that don't that's not a guarantee so that's why when you know there's something is feeling wrong or, or you you get the first feeling what going wrong with your body mm -hmm. you need to tell your wife tell your girlfriend mm -hmm. or you go seek immediately help. for help immediately don't make it stay for a year two years that time it's long gone everything oh, gone back. and another thing with the high blood pressure pills the high blood pressure discuss pills, that with the high blood mm. pressure thing is another one again guys black man you guys don't want to take blood pressure pill but you guys out there not eating right, not um, watching your salt intake, mm -hmm. eating all these oily pasta. And sauce. this is for men over 50, right? No. Or just men in general? Men in general, because I know a few guys younger than that, 26, 27 years, 25, 24 years old. Blood pressure through the damn 